All right, ladies, let's talk about how this movie is so appropriate for right now. Right. Because it calls out this crazy double standard. It's, mm -hmm. And you guys are specific about losing the virginity. Can you guys talk mm -hmm. about that? This movie is really good for right now because it's about time that we tell a comedy about coming of age through the female perspective. Yeah. yeah. It's extremely <laughs> refreshing to Boom. see Clearly females. I've been here all day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to see females in this position of power making their own decisions at such a young age, young women, um, and the boys in the film being so respectful of their decision. Yeah. It's such, it's an all around important um, subject for everyone to see, or movie, subject, yeah. Yeah, it couldn't, it couldn't be a better time than now. And we just hope that like at some point in the future, a movie like this won't be subversive. It'll just be like right. any old comedy. Because yeah. while we were making the movie, it felt really normal. These, these girls are all relatable. Exactly. I really related to my character because she's a real girl going through something that everybody goes through. She's coming of age and she's not really sure. And at the end of the day, they all stay true to themselves, which is yeah. really important. Mm -hmm. The fact that there's a blockbuster about showing this subject through the female perspective is what we've needed for so long and we're normalizing it. And it's also on the topic of sexuality. We're like finding your sexuality. We're normalizing that as well. and. It's so important, and I feel so lucky to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. And behind the camera too. I mean, you got Kay Cannon, the the editor, um, Stacy. She's a woman, and like, it's just you can. I feel like it really shines through the film. Yeah. yeah. And let's talk about the parents because I know that the characters of the parents—they're just wanting to do right by you guys, but there is some crazy baggage they bring, <laughs> right? Yeah. I really feel like the parents kind of represent this, like the stigma and the kind of like older generation idea of what like women should be or like in terms of sexuality and it's kind of I feel like our generation now is like no like why does sex have to be bad um, and I think that's empowering. Yeah. And the cast you guys are teamed up with some crazy funny comedians can you talk about working with them? I loved working with Leslie Mann so much I was a really big fan um, and as soon as I met her when we had our chemistry read we started crying in like the scene and uh, so that was great and then on the day she makes me laugh she makes me break you know what I mean like I would laugh hysterically but also she's just really nice and uh, brought the best out and really I think she made me funny you know what I mean so it was great she's awesome um, Ike is like a kingpin of the comedy world and in TV and film and um, I mean this was my first movie first comedy so definitely working with these people, being able to watch these people work and watch you work mm -hmm. and you work, I mean, all you of it. I learned a lot, I learned a lot. I learned so much, and I don't think you can ever stop learning, but this was the best way to come into the comedy world. Also the way we shot the movie, with all these amazing writers, you know, mm. Kay really set the tone for us, but the way it was shot, I've never done a movie like this before, where they throw lines at you and it's fresh and you're doing improv and you have no fear, and we completely, we're really good friends now but I mean it happened fast because of what this project asked of us mm -hmm. it really yeah. asked us to be fearless and trust each, trust other, each other and just go for it mm -hmm. and I think we did and it's awesome and Geraldine you had mentioned earlier just having Kay at the helm mm -hmm. I mean you guys talk about Kay Cannon she's such a tour de force and just having her you know at the helm of this movie can you yeah. talk about her a little bit yeah she's a firebomb I mean she's she's incredible Kay Cannon's awesome John referred to her as our coach yeah which is so funny because it's true she's kind of like a coach she's yeah. kind of she was really excited and happy. And She's so brilliant, and I think like all of her writing, you know, on Thirty Rock and Pitch Perfect and movies like that, um, with female, those movies have females at the front too. And yeah. um, I think that really, I don't know, shone through in that way too. She was yeah, awesome. This is and an incredible directorial debut for her, yeah. and she didn't, she did a fantastic job, and the movie really wouldn't be the movie it is if it was a man. If it director. was a male was. directing. All right, last question before I wrap it up, because you guys are so fun to talk to. Um, do you guys have a favorite memory or a favorite experience from shooting this movie that you guys can I mean, tell me? so, so many. many. Everything. Yeah. We all stayed in the same hotel together, so we hung out all the time. We I were mean, like floor mates. One of my favorite memories was my fitting. The first fitting that I had for Julie, the oh, prom dress, yeah. was the first dress I tried on. And um, do you remember how we we like printed our prom dresses? <gasps> yes, we did. Oh, we printed yeah. out our prom dresses and we, then we photoshopped our faces like onto our other friends and like cut them out and like put them in. Oh my gosh, I forgot that. about that. That yeah. was fun. 